Welcome back to the University of Queensland School of Architecture introductory video series covering Grasshopper and Rhino. Now we're going to start the example tower with a single point on a, a Rhino file to large objects in millimetres. Now I'm going to, to launch Grasshopper and start a fresh file. File, new document. From the information from the description of the parametric task um, set out in the previous video, what I'm going to do is to try and define a parametric base to this tower um, or typical floor plate and then uh, put a variable to introduce that belly into the one sign. So I'm going to assume that this is the north west corner and then just generate a series of points around the perimeter to set up a set of lines that will define the edge of the um, floor plate and then a curve that I'll be able to vary through a variable through the middle of it uh, to set up that fourth side. The benefit of making the floor plate parametric rather than just putting a, a generic rectangle we draw on Rhino is that it just gives us a, a lot more control and the routine becomes a lot more, I guess, as a tool and more transformable and the routine becomes uh, a more useful tool down the track. So enough talking, I'm going to uh, get my first point up to connect us to uh, to between Rhino and Grasshopper and I'm going to set up a couple of parameters first. I'll do a, a number slider here and we'll call that the width of uh, width of building and we'll give us a maximum range of let's say 50 meters which is 50 thousand. Okay. We'll do copy this and we'll change that to the length of building. And so we've got the two start points through there. Okay. So the length of the building will be extending in this direction, which if we look through here, so we'll flip this around. So that's going to be our x-axis there and our y-axis. And so if this is the uh, northwest corner, to increase the width of the building, we're going to go along x. And the length of the building, we're going to go along y. So let's just move that point first. Oops, Daisy, we're in the wrong window move and we'll just copy duplicate that so we'll give ourselves a translation vector in the x-axis through there so that will be for the width of the building through there through there that's the geometry that we want to move and in the y dimension through here through there, through there, we'll connect the Y to the translation vector and connect the point up through there. So that will give us the two, one corner that will be then, so this is the northwest corner, this will be the southwest corner, this will be the northeast corner. We also need to give ourselves the southeast corner through here. So we'll need to move this point in the y direction, so we'll get a, another move. Uh, we'll do that as a, a y unit, and that will be the length of the building. Oops, it's easy. The length of the building transformation into there. And in fact, what we want to do is we want to move this point here to get our fourth corner through there. So you can see here that the length of the building is through there, the width of the building through there. So we're going to dial up, say, let's around 18 meters for the width and around, say, 30 or so 
for the length. So remember that's facing north. Okay, so we've got the basic elements of the, the perimeter of the building. What we're going to do is that the curvature of this facade here will be based on a point in the middle here that will be able to vary in and out and will connect a curved line through there. So in order to get that point we need to find a halfway point here to here. Now I'm going to use the back facade um, to find that midpoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just draw a line between points and we'll connect up the southwest corner through here and the uh, south east corner to give ourselves a line and I'm going to divide that line now divide curve and I'm just going to get a panel because I just want it in half so I don't need a slider I'll just put a number in through here oops I'll move that up there so that's the number that's the curve we want to divide and now we've got a, an end point through there if we look at then the outcome of points through here we've got three points so we've got one two three or one two three we don't really know but the important thing is that we actually just want this middle value through here so I'm just going to get a, a list item and we're going to pull out that item number one through here get that point through there and if we look at the panel then through here we should have that middle point there 18616 da, 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 da. that's the one we want okay so from this point here we've selected that point through there and that's what we're going to then build up our parameter through here we'll leave it there and in the next video we'll pick it up we'll complete the floor plate and array it up through the building.